Welcome back. This is Defender Fabrication. My name's Scott, and this is Show and Tell, episode number eight. What we've got for you today is a Strange Engineering Dana 60. In the interest of full disclosure, my shop, Defender Chassis, is a dealer for Strange Engineering. So I have bought these before doing this video so that you can get a look at what you will receive if you order one from, uh, from, from Strange. I'm going to go ahead and be a little critical before I unbox this thing and say that the packaging is not what it used to be. I've uh, been getting these for years. I've probably ordered a half dozen of these Dana 60s from them. And uh, the first one I got, I remember really was boxed up really well, but they've kind of cheapened this up and, and um, you can see that the, the, the box is kind of collapsed. I would imagine that if they had uh, something stacked on top of this that it wouldn't have, uh, and maybe that's what happened to it. Maybe the shipping company put something on top of it. Anyway, let me get the camera back. We'll unbox it. I'll take a quick look at it and uh, probably just do a slideshow at the end unless I see something that, uh, that I want to know. Okay, now this order that I placed, uh, we, we got uh, one bare housing uh, cut to length with the ends welded on, and in addition, uh, another complete unit with a uh, pause attraction rear end. Uh, one thing I want you to see, and uh, I'll show a little more detail in the pictures, is uh, the adjustments. Uh, you know, these original Dana 60s, if you um, get one to... Um, uh, to rebuild like out of a pickup truck you'll know that uh, the side adjusters are typically just shims and what the uh, what strange has done has uh, they have uh, built in these adjustments similar to, similar to what uh, like a Mopar 8 and 3 quarter or a Ford 9 inch wheel let me get some uh, wrenches and I'll pull this off let you take a closer look at it So you can see that uh, this adjuster allows you to basically take the place of a typical shim pack for a uh, for a Dana 60. Let me show you something else. And you won't be able to see too too well over these tubes, but uh, the uh, the pinion area of of these uh, these housings have got bosses for a pinion snubber. So if you're a Mopar guy, uh, that's important. Now I know the Strange offers uh, different assemblies. Uh, they offer these for the Pontiac Trans Ams, that, and the Camaros that had the, uh, the single control arm that came forward. So I would imagine those housings are different. Uh, in addition, some of the GM stuff, they have um, uh, the bosses for the uh, control arm connections for the ones with the uh, triangulated four link style suspensions like the Malibus and I guess something else to note is uh, housing ends. Both of these housings have what is called a big Ford housing end and you can uh, you can order these you can order these rear ends with almost any housing end. Yokes. All of the strange rear ends come with a yoke for a 1350U joint. So chances are if you're converting over from like an eight and three quarter or uh, you know a 10 bolt or 12 bolt rear end in a GM or you know uh, an 8.8 .8 and a Ford whatever that you're not gonna have the, the correct U joint. But the pinion length is different anyway. The distance from the axle center line to where the center of your U joint's gonna be is different from, from a Dana 60 to anything else anyway. So you're gonna have to, uh, to rework your drive shaft. They do offer a conversion U-joint to go from the 1350 specs to whatever may be on your drive shaft. So as an option, you could have your drive shaft shortened, which is probably what you're going to need to do, uh, or just go ahead and have them put a new yoke on the end for the, the 1350 joint.
watching. If this video did you any good, I appreciate a thumbs up. We do uh, as much of this kind of stuff as we can. Any products that come through the shop, uh, I like to give you an advanced look. So if you're gonna think about ordering one of these, you know, you won't have any, uh, any, any surprises as to what you're gonna get. If you don't mind, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you on the next episode of Show and Tell. Thanks.